mathematics area related to circles areas related to circles circle circle is the set of points in a plane the set of points in a plane from a fixed point at a fixed distance from a fixed point at a fixed distance is called circle let us repeat the set of points in a plane set of points in a plane from a fixed point at a fixed distance from a fixed point and at a fixed distance is called circle so here the fixed point is called as point the fixed point is called as center so this is the center of the circle the distance which is constant the fixed distance through this all the points is drawn and is called radius this is center of the circle and the distance from center to this point which is on the circle is called radius this radius of the circle and center of the circle so let's find out let's see area of circle the region bounded by the circle is all together the region bounded by the circle the formed by the circle is called area of a circle this is all the region is formed by the circle the interior part this inside the region is called area of a circle we have learned in previous classes that is area of a circle is nothing but a is equals to pi into r to the power of 2 r is nothing but radius of circle from center to any point of the circle is radius so let's take a point is a on the circle so o a is equals to r is radius of the circle o is radius of the circle so a is equals to pi into pi into r square is area of circle we call and circumference of circle circumference is nothing but the perimeter of circle the length of the boundary is called perimeter start from the point a and take one round one complete round along with the boundary is called perimeter it's called as the perimeter of the circle is called as circumference so circumference of the circle have defined in previous classes that is c is equals to 2 by r so also can be written as 2 times of the radius into pi so pi is an constant number 3.14 it's an annual ratio number but we'll take it for approximately 3.14 so circumference of the circle is pi into 2r nothing but 2 by r so let's go to the next one that is sector sector this is the sector of the circle we take any two points on the circle a and b we have took any two points on the circle point a and point b and from the center of the circle join these two points from center O2 the point A on the circle which is there on the circle and from center to the circle from center to the point which is there on the circle which is other point other than the one so we join this OA and OB so after joining this OA and OB one of the region is formed. The region
region bounded by this part of the circle is called sector of a circle is a sector the region bounded by this OA radii and OB radii OA radius and OB radius along with the bounded by this region is called as sector of the circle let's draw separately oh this is sector of the circle sector of the circle so AOB is the sector of the circle here if we take in sector in that we will be having major sector and minor sector so let's see what is a major, major sector when we join these two points OA and OB one of the sector is formed that is OAB this, this is the part and let us see here AB and remaining part the length of the circumference arc this is the arc and this is another arc which is formed by the first one of the sector so another one also is a sector because let us see we take in this part and let us take the remaining part of the circle and we rub this and we rub this part and we'll be getting here so this is joined from center to any point of the circle center to any point of the circle so here this is another sector so the points which we have taken on the circle two points are joined to the center of the circle the circle will be divided into two parts that is one of the sector and another part is also sector the two parts are divided and this is the length of the arc is less so this will make the minor arc so minor arc will form a minor sector and here let's see from here to this side will form major sector because this the length of the boundary is more than this one so this is the major sector we call along with the boundary and area the region bounded by this sector is called major sector so this is the minor sector and this is a major sector two sectors were formed so let's find out let's see what is the area of a sector in previous classes we have learned that is area of a sector is equals to x degrees by 360 into pi r square so we have taken the degrees what is the, what is the angle formed by the sector that is x the angle formed by the sector is x here the angle formed by the sector is taken as x and divided by total complete angle formed by in the circle is 360 into area of circle is pi r square so we multiply with pi r square so area of a sector is equal to the angle formed by the sector x by the complete angle 360 into pi r square let's go to the next concept that is segment let's see next concept is segment and that we have major segment and minor segment let's see what is the segment here we have taken a circle circle is drawn In the circle, take any two points of the circle. We have joined these two points of the circle. So it forms a line segment. This is a line segment which is formed after taking two points of the circle. So this line segment will divide the circle into two parts. have shaded is one of the part with the dots we have formed another region so it's divided into two parts so let's take this is AB so the line segment 
AB divided the circle into two parts with the horizontal lines we draw that is one of the part of the circle and uh, below it we have taken with the dots that is another part of the circle so the lines we make, make divides the circle into two parts so the part which is the greater is called the segment and which is smaller also called segment but which is the greater according to area that is called major segment and which is according to the less which is less in according to area that is called as minor segment so major segment and minor segment this part region bounded by this part is called as major segment and minor segment so let's go to the next concept that is concentric circles concentric circles are nothing but two circles having the same center these two circles circle 1 and circle 2 first circle larger circle and the smaller circle c1 and c2 and this two are having the same center so this kind of circles are said to be concentric circles so let's go to the next concept the relation between radius and diameter in previous classes we have learned what is radius and diameter let's recall center of the circle a set of points in a plane from a fixed point is called center and a fixed distance the distance is called radius the fixed point is called center of the circle the distance is radius of the circle we know that this radius is denoted by small r so o a is r so we need to find out the relation between radius and diameter Let's draw a line segment which is passing passes through center of the circle and forms a diameter because this is two times of radius. Radius plus radius is called diameter of the circle. Let's recall. We have taken any two points on the circle and join the two points to the center of the circle. We have joined two points. We have joined the two points to the center of the circle then we call it diameter of the circle so this is from center to any point of the circle is radius center to any point of the circle is also radius so two times of the radius is called as diameter of the circle so diameter is equal to this is the diameter and from center to any point of the circle radius from center to any point of the circle is radius so radius plus radius is two times the radius so the diameter is equals to two times the radius so we need to find out the radius that is if you want to find out the radius so diameter by 2 is equals to radius so radius is equals to half of the diameter and diameter is equals to two times of the radius this is the relation between radius and diameter Let's go to the next concept that is relation between circumference and diameter. Let's take a circle. We have taken line segment which is passes through the diameter of the circle is called sorry let us recall the line segment which is passes through the center of the circle is called diameter so this is the diameter AB AB is the diameter let's take a point 
start from here and take one complete rotation and uh, this is boundary of the circle nothing but perimeter we will call it as circumference of the circle so let's take the circumference of the circle this denoted by c and we take circumference and diameter of the circle and divide this to circumference and diameter circumference and diameter is divided circumference and diameter is together it's circumference and diameter is divided we take any one of the circle and measure the circumference and measure the diameter of the circle then we divide this to we will be getting constant number 3.141 and so on we will be getting a ratio number after dividing this two so this is taken as one of the constant value and it's as pi it's denoted by pi so 3.14 is taken as the symbol very Greek, Greek symbol pi so c pi d is equals to pi constant value has taken so c by d is equals to pi when we divide so this pi diameter we are getting a constant value that constant value is taken as pi so c by d is equals to pi so c is equals to when we transpose this one it becomes pi d so circumference of the circle is equals to pi times the diameter so this is the relation between circumference and diameter of the circle interior and exterior of the circle so inside of the circle the boundary the region formed by the inside of the circle is called interior of the circle the region formed by the outside of the circle is called as exterior of the circle